Masters. Jig. Big big basket. Ah, uh, Jig. Right, let's take them. Hello, anyone who may be watching now or later. Welcome to Hillian Sub with me, Hillian, along with. Drakir, the crazy. <laughs> and welcome back to most likely the final stream of the main story of Dishonored 2, because we are definitely going for the DLC here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I bought it. <laughs> uh, I hope so. Really? They should have. One complaint I do have about the DLC, at least from what I can say pre-start, is that its description gives away that Megan Foster is Billy Lurk. Yeah, so yeah, that is something they really should have hidden uh, at least a little bit. Wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hmm? It's been the, there all the time, and we only noticed it last episode. You tell me you knew it all the time from that uh, icon. Yeah, not just from that icon, but from the description on the Steam store and such. They actually call her Billy Lurk, with her face uh, on the front of it. So yeah, one plus one makes Billy Lurk. Okay, on the Steam front. Okay, that yeah, that that's a bit bad spoiler. Uh, yeah. Uh, beyond that, I have one little thing to speak about uh, before we start, and that is. Uh, yeah, I, I might come off a bit agitated today. Uh, I know I'm not the most expressive on Twitch, uh, certainly not the, uh, the, the childish ones, I'll call them. Uh, but yeah, let's just say that uh, I learned today that two sources, I'll say, have been lying to me for quite a long time. And though it have, no, it's not a kind of uh, world shattering betrayal type, I'm still freaking annoyed at finding out that I'd been lied to. So, yeah, I hope that won't show too much. And in part, I don't think it will, because, like I said, I'm not the most expressive. At, at least, I hope that means that when I do get expressive, like <laughs> laughing out loud last, like last time, that it comes across as gen genuine. Oh, that, that means I have to let it worse than the last episode, but I need to see your laugh. Uh, it I was from the notes deal. in the safe. <laughs> the one that had Yuke on the floor la laughing as well. Yeah, true. I actually cried laughing. It's still weird for me. I, it's hard for me to cry sad, but I have used the time to cry laughing. <laughs> yeah, that's that's. I believe that's because you start laughing so hard it actually starts hurting your lungs. <laughs> My lungs are funny. I just start crying anyway. When I'm sad, yeah, I just I, I, I just be turned silent. <laughs> I guess I cried on the inside instead then. <laughs> okay, but enough of that. Let's finish off the bitch of an empress. And move on with this. Yep. And I'm joined also with warm sandwiches. <laughs> you should probably have given my little icon here a sandwich. <laughs> and his claws. <laughs> I'll try to uh, come up with that for next time, Saturday. Yeah, or just, just a random sandwich you drag over to me sometime. <laughs> That's for jokes. But a few days ago, she was spending all her time in that bleak little overseer chapel. What's afoot? What's she working on? She probably found it funny, using the chapel as a studio, mixing pigments where those fools used to preach their nonsense. But she moved to the throne room once she was ready to start her new painting. Always exciting when she starts to sculpt or paint. Yes, but this one is special. Delilah says it's going to change everything, the world and all the spheres beyond. Spheres? Go sneak a peek of it, if you dare. I'm just jealous. If I want to dance, then I can Sweet. Do they mean other planets? Or other realms, I'm guessing. Mm. Oh, come on. There we go. It's a bit odd that furniture can block you like that sometimes. Yeah, then again, it isn't big enough for us to drag her over, so it, it would make sense that it would block us a bit. Yeah. <laughs> 
But yeah, spheres. That gives a bit of a feeling like... Uh, with Guild Wars 2 also has... not Actually not as much, but it's more an elemental balance thing there. But yeah, spheres is often a word used for yeah other worlds and such. Yeah, or just to for describe a shape. Though I can use the elevator to reach Delilah up in the throne room. Let's uh, 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 say this. There was the you describe a globe as a sweet sphere. Are you a smart one? Well, uh, well, not an idiot. Uh, some casual folk you may just call a globe a ball. Hmm. Let's see. Technically, this. Technically, the Earth isn't a perfect sphere either. It's a, a little bit stretched, if I recall correctly. But yeah, let's see. Note from Delilah. Following the Abbey's prophetic assault, I want the power shut off in the security room, and I want this regular old contraption locked. No more supplicants from the city riding up to beg for my graces. Uh, come to my Earth throne room only if, you need, if your need is dire, and woe be to anyone from outside the coven who disturbed me while I'm painting. The Overseers were probably the last of our significant enemies, and now they are beaten. I <clears throat> I trust you, know, you can handle anyone else who comes along. Your Empress Delilah Caldwin. Okay. I'll have to reach the security room to restore electricity to the tower and get the elevator working. Oh, and she even decorated the whole freaking thing with their masks. Okay. Classy as always. Oh, bloody heck, that... That Delilah, she she is. She case. is not well. Oh, oh. Okay, he has two bone charms. Is that a trap? Because he seems to be a bit out too much out in the middle. And she really went to hate. <laughs> she went, really started fast with replacing every statue she could, didn't she? Let's see. Any witches lying in lurk? The High Overseer. Yeah. Oh. Breaking hounds. Oh, yep. Ambush. <laughs> it's a trap! How do you want to die? Okay, didn't really have many places to hide there and couldn't see all the best with the dark vision on. But yeah, let's uh, not repeat that. Where the hell even were they? Or were they lurking up above or somewhere? Hmm. Yeah, two bone chums in one place. Yeah, well, that was a bit obviously a trap, or at least a lure. Uh, the the feeling like you should probably have been able to spot the, skull, uh, the dog skulls, but they are rather obvious. Though, I cannot see them do uh, the pixelation. There. There's one. I overlooked that. I was <laughs> a bit busy looking, well, at the price? charms. Yeah, yeah what the heck? Damn ketchup. There you go. Spit some ketchup on my pants. <laughs> and this is probably why I'm happy I did not warm my sandwich a little bit to capture an arm. For, yeah. Having a hot ketchup fall on my leg would probably have made me scream on stream. Oh, overseer. What is that sound? Is that sound coming from the button charms? Let's see. Lick, silvering silhouette and liquid something. Let's see. We still could mix some things like, together with these, but let's save that for uh, New Game Plus. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the, you know, we said we were to craft a few things, but we never did it. Yeah. Uh, let's see. So, drinking from a fountain gives health, and then... During silhouette, enemies' attacks miss uh, more often with range attacks, but you are more visible to enemies. Okay, so we're fully avoiding uh, that one. 
Yeah. Do, uh, correction, people. We have crossed some charms, but we did do scrub the on stream. We were talking about to do some off stream. Mm. And yeah, the latter did not mm. happen. So we, okay. How many? How many? How many did we cross? Two. Uh, only one, I think. And it seems that hmm, there's a bit of flickering going on with my green screen again. Let me see if I can fix that. Uh, yeah, yeah, the, 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 yeah, the camera has been moved up slightly by accident. I think one of the cats bumped it as they moved behind it. I'll definitely need to put a heavier weight on it or something. Uh, let's see, just throw that up a bunch. Move it down. Well, you, your voice is getting distorted a little bit now, Dan. I don't know if it has, if you're turning away from the mic or what. Uh, I'm still sort of facing it. Uh, let's see, is that any better? Yeah, that seems to have fixed it, just moving it up and down a bit. Yeah, chroma key can be a rather finicky thing, and hello. Oh, uh, I don't trust that. I think we, I think we both remember why we, we should not trust those statues. Yep. Also, apparently, I oh, I uh, told you this before, but uh, in the conservatory, after we had uh, taken care of Ashworth, we could have approached that statue to taunt uh, Delilah, and apparently her reaction was would have been quite the sight. So that is one thing I am a bit sorry about for missing. <laughs> I hope I can look this up on YouTube later. Uh, I'll do it myself as well, and I'll link you it then. Uh, I, I will appreciate it. For now, we're just taking the high road, because all of these... Yep, of course they wouldn't... They wouldn't lock the door that would be the least likely to be reached. Okay, so they turned, they turned the Lord Protector's uh, no, not the Lord, the, the Lord Regent's room. It makes me room. furious seeing the tower like this. Hmm. Out there. They turned the Lord Regent's room into Corvo's room. Kind of fitting <laughs> that he would park his ass on where the man who betrayed him uh, <clears throat> was staying. Let's see. Oh, dear. No documents or anything. I even left this thing like this. Let's see, three of them. It looks like they should be talking or something. Uh, oh well. uh, we don't have any sleep darts. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, and, uh, are there no black markets on this level? Uh, I very much. I very right much doubt in... that anyone would uh, be keeping a store right next to uh, the yeah, witch empresses. He sees what I can do with a bit mm -hmm. of cat fur and a bone from a drowned man's leg. I doubt anyone would be setting up shop anywhere near uh, a witch empress's uh, tower. True. Do I feel like we, that we should have done some uh, resupplying? Yeah. Also, why... The candles seem to be flickering a bit, at least on my end. Yeah, I think I see it at that as well. Even though, yeah, even with the pixelation, I see. Maybe that is something that's causing the pixelation, that it's just too much for Disco to handle? Maybe. No. Yeah, I'm not a computer expert. I want to see if I can lure her over, or if I can sneak closer. Mm. I just let her catch Who's enough that? of a sight that she gets curious. Yeah. Then we hide, then we wait. Yep. And when she turns around, we grab her. It 
twiggy, twiggy, twiggy leg. Hey, twiggy leg. Come on. I saw you wanted to go back. Uh, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yes, you sure, whatever. <laughs> okay. There we go. You can just join your friend here. Word of Brian, it's very doubtful that they haven't been doing uh, other group related things as a coven. And I almost walked right in the side of that one. They blend in a bit with how. Oh. I didn't the... see that her! Um... What is. What is a clock? Oh, of course, yeah, I, like, I speculated. It just um, kicks it open. Awkward. I, I was supposed to, to just mention it did earlier before going to straight out. Yeah, I say, I also hope it won't find any clockwork here. And, <laughs> and then you're distracted with, with the candles. <sighs> well, I did speculate that uh, Jindar's probably involved some black magic into making those things. So I guess I shouldn't be too surprised. That they actually showed the hell up here. What? Huh. I thought I saw someone right Oh no, I think I know why. Yeah, that might be the same ones that she brought with her and killed yeah. everyone. So it's, it would make sense they left a lot of them remaining here. Yep. Yeah. So, oh yes. We should be prepared for that. <sighs> True. Yeah, we also could have thought that. Um, okay, what was that? Yeah, I'd sort of thought that the <clears throat> that the duke would have brought all of those back with him. Hmm. Well, it 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 wouldn't make too much sense, and uh. Well, they were probably made support on massacring uh, the entire castle and uh, rebellions. Yeah. Yeah, there's, we've saw, we've seen how thing, you know, yeah, how annoying those things are to beat and break down on our own. And yeah, we have a bunch of magic bullshit powers to help with that. Yeah. Do, do we have any mines remaining? Yeah, well, come on. For, we, we know the mines are affected to really stun them for quite a while. But True. the exception of uh, when you just stun them and just stare for them long enough to get revived. We should be able to rewire them, but that would just make them hostile to everyone. So, yeah, the only the way to really get you. rid of them. Yeah. Someone there? Uh, it would be a good way to deal with the dogs, but. Triggering electrostatic discharge. Stand clear. What? I could wonder if they were able to reach you from here. Okay, they certainly seem to be intent on coming here. Hello. Playback indicates lost enemy. Mm. Yeah, I. I don't say that before, but I. I think I uh, we'd speculated at some point that uh, yeah, Jindos probably involved some black magic into making those things. Hmm. But yeah, see, they also had a few of them with them. I think about four or so, two at the least. Yeah, at least in the throne room. But they may have several more in the castle, in the other rooms or something. Don't tell me that thing is going to jump down. It's so going to jump down, isn't it? Or not? Is it you again? Enemy Show enemy. yourself. Successful. Time to cry and bleed. How do you want to die? I have plenty of ideas. No nail in the Come on, just try and hit me. Don't st stop crying about it and stop trying to hit me. Come on. Fire from the skin. That is an impressive effect, brother. Yep. And how she just 
melts away, or rather leaves it behind a, a pool, a bunch of melty stuff. Okay, that's at least one of them down, like five minutes later. Yeah, yeah, if we. Oh no, I if just remembered. Hmm? I know that she used two statues to spy on, but I just remember she ma can make them walk as well. Yep. And what is this here? Okay, there's. <laughs> it's some of the thorns that she launched at us. Okay. As it is, if you make the statues walk, then I say send the robots at them. If possible. Can we finally get up here and not be assailed? Okay. Mm. Those two would be troublesome to take out. Ooh, ooh, ooh. There we go. It's another one dealt with. Okay. okay. Really? She's just dumped all of Ele Emily's uh, work in here. I'm surprised she didn't burn it. I am my mistress. I'm your devoted servant. Yes. Yes, yes. Okay, only one of them left. <laughs> what the, the heck? Okay. <laughs> physics what being physics. <laughs> yeah, something must have been bumping against something else. Metallic popcorn? <laughs> <laughs> Perhaps. It, 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 sorry about that. Uh, I said, it reminded me somehow of popcorn. Playback indicates some detection without certainty. And what were you to say? <laughs> I, I got to now already. Hmm. Oh dear. Okay. Let's see, it is only her in there, it seems. Huh? What's going on? Okay, so where is the second one? Wait. Oh. Oh, and they're calling for reinforcements. Oh, of course, there were two more in the room adjacent to that. And now they made you into tea. <laughs> okay, how far back is this going to put us? Okay, a reasonable amount, but at least we know now what is waiting for us. And also just to see if something happens, uh, select that game. I'm not going to talk to it, but I am going to leap over it. Because, yeah, if we talk to it, then we <laughs> Delilah definitely knows where we are. Okay, I was sort of expecting that to be locked, actually. Uh, okay, okay then, we, this approach. We can talk to it. Uh, all right. Is all the quiet? Are you? So delicate, so fine. The old woman we pushed off the roof cared more about these dishes than she did her own rotten bones. <laughs> she begged us not to break anything else. Oh, please, not that one. It's over a hundred years old. No, no, that belonged to Emperor Yuhor and Jacob Caldwin. It was a wedding gift. The older it is, the more exciting to smash, I say. Yes, why is that, I wonder? Another mystery. Oh, mm. I want to punch them. Yeah. And one of them I is looking at the door. I, those are the people I read. One of the many people I read is like, sense. I value history that I feel like we used to, if you find something very old, treat it with respect and care and all that. And so when here, when people just breaking ancient stuff or just blowing up intentionally, it just infuriates me. 
Only the finest among the gentlefolk dine at this banquet table. Okay, the machine has detected yes, something. Stupid, not a clockwork. Oh, oh gosh, just say that reminds me of my first introduction to such stupidity. The Bone Wars. Hey. Oh, you not heard of it. Um, in in the 1800s, when they were starting with dinosaur fossils, there were two scientists who did not see eye to eye, and they actually started a war between each other. They they hired people to sabotage and break each other's fossils. Uh, first boys. So yeah, a lot of valuable dinosaur fossils and other animal fossils got destroyed because they hired bandits to vandalize each other. Hence the name Bone Wars. I think I'm spotted us. Okay. And yes, people, oh, this happened in USA. Okay, that's. I guess that confirms that it was four that they brought along. Because there's two down here, one upstairs, and probably another one guarding uh, Delilah Shitter or something. And then we meet the final one that uh, had. Eight arms and cough. Oh, wait, no. That's yeah, no grieves. I think off. <laughs> <laughs> oh gosh, I really hope they haven't made the general grievous version of those. Do they? And they already yeah, have four I... blades. Yes, yeah, so I guess they s might be inspired. She is really intent on just keeping here, uh, her eyes here. Yeah, uh, make sure Oscar in uh, ink e is not in the room. Knock, knock. Who's there? Let's have a look around. I missed that one. Very fine powder and drink it with tea. I won't let it. Okay, don't alert the others, please. Yep. Oh, that's actually stunned her enough for me to possibly grab her. Come on, come on, come on. There we go. Uh, I really should get better with the combat like that, especially since we're at the end of the freaking game. Hmm. Yeah, especially now we'll be sort of um, lacking uh, darts. Yeah. And she did get she did get stunned by accidentally breaking something. So um, perhaps we could just throw a bottle at someone to stun them and then choke them out. Uh, Maybe at least it distracts them. So it would be I really hope we can find some darts around for I would not be surprised if we're gonna need the darts for the low chaos to Seriously, I think we are getting hint that to kill her. There, they are, she is throwing around with something in the throne room, and she was doing something in the chapel as well with her painting. Um Yes, obviously yeah. whatever she's painting is bad news. Yeah, I'm guessing in the chapel. We might, yeah, in the chapel, I think we might find something to at least neutralize her painting. Yeah, and yeah, we have seen hints that the outsider is even concerned with her even more than before. Let's see, is this a dumb waiter? Not, not fully, but I can use this to. Climb up. Let's see, where does this put us? Another kitchen? Oh, oh bring it here again. Oh, that didn't really do anything then. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, to even get to Delilah, we need to oh, reactivate the power. That is probably going to get noticed. Strange how it moves. 
Like a man, but not like a man. Oil runs through its veins, rendered from the fat of leviathans from the deep icy waters. It has nothing to do with our mistress's magic. Not touched by the void at all. Okay. Like bones, I wonder. Like grave hounds. Delilah could, with Brianna's help. She was always oh so clever with the bones of things. Okay, so that yes. there is no magic involved with those things at all? Delilah's magic now. There's room for another of us to become. Let's pray they don't add magic to it. I'm getting annoyed by that flickering, so I'm just going to extinguish every candle I see. Toys won't last forever. Make a note. Remove display back after the final field test. I thought he responded to those two. Uh, I wouldn't have been surprised if it said kill these two last. <laughs> okay, now where is it? There it is. Okay. The machine is running at low speed. Okay, the machine has detected something. Hmm. When this plays, check central rotor. We're going to have to sneak around it. But again, eyes in the back of its head. Its head. Yeah. yeah, you can only flank it, basically. Hmm. No. Do you have any mines? Just quickly get down here. Uh, wait, I just realized something. Have you found anything, anything that could be used as ammo here? Mm, only the glass where, they, where we could show around. Yeah. Other than that, the only thing no. We, so we only be founding bottles and potions. And security. Yeah. Okay, security room. Here, it has to be something in here. Yeah, and this used to be the torturous room. And apparently, killing him of all people would have been a high chaos action. From what I saw online, at least, about uh, yeah, every action that has a major effect on the Dishonored One's chaos system. And it's... Okay. Is there still any in here? Okay. There we go. The power on, I can take the elevator to the throne room. Right. Let's investigate if there's any anything else. There has to be something here. Machines digesting oils from the great leviathans of the deep. You should see who tampers with the dead things. Oh, oh come on, I. You very clearly saw that I had my mic, uh, my mouse on the far reach here, not the freaking pistol. Powers are a waste on you. Yeah. Here. Okay, now I know you 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 were you also going to be funky there then. Time to cry and bleed. I'll paint my nose red with your blood. Shut up. Actually, ow. <clears throat> okay, I was trying to shoot her in the foot there. <sighs> okay, I have some critiques about this level so far. At least the cause of one. Why no darts for any kind here? Yeah, because the witches have no need for them. Okay. Yeah, that way sure makes sense, but Actually, you expect there to be some remaining. Uh, what? I know how we can get past them. The belly Machines digesting oil. Uh -huh. You're not one of us. What is this? There we go. <laughs> no, but... oh. uh, what? Shouldn't you? 
And that didn't last very long. Nothing to see here, please just... I shouldn't, I shouldn't have expected right. it to last too long, but... How did she... La oh, against the feet, against the walls, okay. Uh, let's just pick her up in case she starts to roll down the stairs. Because I do believe NPCs can die if you let them slide down the stairs head first. What the heck is happening with the voice? Hmm? Yeah, the voice got a bit distorted. Okay. There we go. We should be safe from it up here. Still freaking surprised that there is zero void magic involved with it in these things at all. At once that is both uh, a bit reassuring, but on the other end even more worrying. Yeah, and it already gave the witch's idea to make one of bones. Yeah. Do they... Brianna can make it of stone, but I guess bones is easier for you have plenty of corpses, apparently. Yeah, let's see. Invitation from Her Majesty Empress Delilah Caldwin to the Duchess Lucelle Clothilda. Clothilda. Uh, I hope this note finds you in good health. Yours was the first in such correspondence offering me fealty and officially denouncing the murderous Emily Caldwin. Uh, swift actions such as yours deserve a uh, Recipro uh, reciprocation. Come join me for a dinner in your honor. My kitchen will prepare jellied oysters, herring and gravy, and some of those unusual Morlay and clams that thrive only in brackish waters. Let it be tomorrow evening, for, uh, for I am eager to show how I feel toward one who is so quick to change allegiance, Empress de la Caldwin. Oh. Yeah. Uh, with the thinking, if they'll turn that quickly on them, they'll turn that quickly on me. Yeah, uh, what the heck is happening with your voice? Don't tell me we're gonna have that problem again. Let me just reconnect it a bit here. Properties. Yeah, you did 10. it on the last stream as well, a little bit, but less on the last stream. Then but now here. it's... Oh, I see. Huh? Test one, two. Three, four, five. Okay. Apparently, Discord has set, was set to default input, uh, and it probably could have been being a bit iffy. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah. Oh. Still freaky. They they look like boy raptors. What's that ball? <laughs> hmm. What's that ball over there? That's a clock. Oh. <laughs> I cannot... It, it's still pixelated from my, on my end, so... When you do dog vision, it gets... Uh, yeah, very yeah. hard to decipher what it is. Yeah, they could have... They, they could have done a, a bit better of a color with that, but then again, you're already being able to see through walls with it, so just to hinder your vision in just a bit by miscoloring everything, the... Yeah, that does compensate a bit. Why is yep. there a tree in the middle of the chapel? Delon's been obsessed with trees from the start with all of this. And this Not the again. good ones, though. Out with these. Yeah, she's really, with she has some sort of Yggdrasil plans. Or... It's more you... like Tree of Death. Um... <clears throat> okay. Uh, Delilah on Rune Harmony. Bending the energies of the void was tricky, but I've managed to corrupt runes of bone for my great painting. I've got all the ingredients ready in the chapel, dried kelp and algae from the moats, flowers from the greenhouse, ground to dust and made into pigment. Human bones infused with the fluids of terror and regret. Mustering patience, I must continue painting until the final rune is ready to affix to the throne, my throne. But harmony must be maintained between the corrupt runes and their pure counterparts. Two corrupt aligns with one, two of the purest 
If this harmony is not observed, the magic of the painting could get twisted around and fail, or even turn against me. Okay, well, going for a repeat. Terrible, but I might be able to sabotage it. Let's see. It worked. I painted the chapel, but added a tree to the painting. After arranging the runes across the chair, both pure and corrupted, I was able to transpose the chapel made of paint with the one made of stone. With more runes, I should be able to do the same to all the Empire. This will be my greatest undertaking, transposing my painting. The world as it should be. With this wretched dung heap we're all born into. At last, all will be made proper and good. Yeah, that can be good, because most likely she's just going to end up destroying everything. Uh, that's why the tree is in here. By crafting more corrupt runes, I could disrupt Delilah's painting. Oh. Uh, let's see, how do we craft? We can craft normal runes, but not corrupted ones. Let's see. Uh, be oh wait, be our, our runes can get corrupted if you do add too many things to them. True. Uh, not there. Here. So it's ac let's actually take a bit of a look first. Uh, rune. <laughs> so it's a good thing after all that we took this. Uh, let's see. Lowers the charm of corruption. Your, yeah, the chance of corruption. When crafting new bone charm, it is possible to use the same trait up to four times across all your bone charms. For only three runes, actually. Uh, let's see. Master crafting. No chance of corruption when we're three. And craft runes. Hmm. Let's see. Can we... That is interesting that they add that in. Um... That means we'll have to sacrifice a few. Let's see. Uh, rat swarm. We can destroy that one. And we can destroy this one. Uh, spring razors. Yeah, so we need the corrupted ones, correct? True. All right. For if it like we, like we could just add a few uncorrupted ones to uh, unbalance it. Yeah, wait, I think I see what's going on now. We have to replace the two pure ones with two extra corrupted ones, probably. Yeah, or at least that's uh, what I'm thinking. Just to be sure, I'm going to put down a save here in case we're mis we're getting this wrong. Uh, the good doctor. Let's override that one. And. Oh, oh, hold on. We need more of these materials. Let's see. Mission clues. Dry the algae, pigment, and human bones. Okay, oh, cor corrupt rune, not rune charm. Bone charm. Okay, so that <laughs> we kind of destroyed those for nothing. Uh, but... Um, um. Oh, okay, that bone. makes sense for otherwise uh, it could be a locked thing by accident. Yeah. And that is why <laughs> saving like that was a good idea because we already misunderstood it. Okay. So now we have the way to really screw her over yet again. Because I, I get the feeling. Anyone here? No. I get. What? Uh, the dining areas behind there. Uh, why? Was it... Actually, uh, no. Come back here. Okay, I thought you should be could be able to do that. Uh-oh. You know what? Oh. 
There we go. That should keep them busy, uh, but not that one. Playback for unambiguous enemy. Ow. <laughs> okay, yeah. I should have kept sneaking. <clears throat> also, I've uh, swapped out my usual bottle with a mug and uh, the iced tea with, uh, well, chocolate milk. Because the iced tea seemed to go faster through me than actual freaking water. Could disrupt the what the painting. milk? You little... I haven't had chocolate milk in years. <laughs> okay. Oh god. Yeah, I, I don't know. That that's just happened from pure accident. Or that. I used to buy chocolate milk when it was a bit more snowy, but... Mm. Yeah. I kind of forgot to buy it last time it was a bit more snowy. Yeah, I'm not going to get stuck between two clockwork soldiers. Yeah. Hmm? I just had an idea. Now what then? A headless clock will be attack anything, right? Yep, even other clockworks, technically speaking. You'll catch you all what I'm hitting at! <laughs> and we do know it is we do know it's really easy to break their heads. Oh. Okay, songbirds. You're quite a streamer. Okay, screw this. I was standing on our heads for a bit there. I don't need. The runners will literally run into the freaking door. That, come on, game. <laughs> what? It's gotta be something nice. Something no one else has thought of. Maybe something with gold's eyes. Or the bladder of a cat. What are they doing here now all of a sudden? What happened and what the heck are they doing? They're just looking from the looks of it. Yeah, they they came here after the power turned on, I'm guessing. And the ones up top seem to have been have given up on us. Which is good, I'd say. Let's see, can I... I cannot mark that one. But I can probably just sneak up closer. Hmm. Okay, the red mark doesn't mean that they are out of reach, because this one is also showing red. Let's see. Hmm. It was six, three. Um, there we go. Okay. Now we just take one of them out. You run them out. There we go. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure if we jumped down to get through here, we would have been spotted anyways. Okay. Left them down. Hide in the corner because... Yeah. Ah. Because that. Come on, I shot that through the bars. Why did... Where the hell did she come from? Or was, was she in the room there? Oh, and... Yep, yeah, yeah. I was about to say, that one revives. And we're not... Well, we're going to revive for a save, but... Not in the same way, at least. Oh, bloody heck. Yeah, I did have the correct, oh, come on, idea that there would be something waiting for us there. I 
think I want to there. To have the tower humming and belts of sparks. If this plays, the machine is recharging the magnetic coil. Okay, so that one's just plain stuck there. Why is the electricity running again? Like the snakes burrow. Okay, no way to sneak through above. Like most of this, I'm pretty sure most of this architecture is almost one to one to uh, the original level in Dishonored One. I hope so. Otherwise, I'd be surprised if it was not. Now, they have, of course, polished things up a bit. But the shapes and all seem to be identical. Uh, let's see. Okay, so you were... Wait, weren't we about the same dist... Oh, wait. It's dark vision. Not domino like I was thinking I was using. Okay. Let's have a look around. Oh, seems that I missed one of them. Okay. Playback for yeah. detection registered. Uh, oh, it might have been her that uh, I didn't see. Th we got one on the stairs and two down there. I'm guessing this one was number four. Possibly. And I'm just going to test something here. So I'm going to leave the stream momentarily. Okay. Yeah, the yellow came over. Uh, your audio quality has gone down a bit. Really? Yes. Something with internet. Uh, now, now, it's, now it's fixed. All right, then it's probably just focus on your start, and, and I just look at my voice meter, and it's it's green. Okay, yeah, it's you're <clears throat> it's back to normal now. Must have been right. reconnecting or something. Yeah. It shouldn't have. I was I only closed the stream, not the voice channel. Though it maybe got reacted due to I restarted the stream. Possibly. <laughs> There's a lot of shenaniganery with Discord that we just don't know about. <clears throat> yeah. Now again, it's probably the only. Uh, what, what, what would you call Discord? Uh, communication program or chat yeah, program? Probably, yeah, it's probably one of the few, few, if not only chat program that uh, has so much to it, like streaming and such. Like, sure, Skype had video calls and all that, but not streaming. Okay, they, to the I think they always uh, try to tweak and polish the streaming, uh, uh, thinking to be as good as possible. Yeah. This may take a while. Okay, no immediate shotgun to the face, so that's good, because I'm refilling <laughs> my mug. But wait, wait. <laughs> that's a broom. I don't think they're that kind of witch. Oh, it's our rooftop, okay. Okay. This is probably going to be where things are going to end once and for all with the lilac copper spoon. That she's there. I think that's showing the Lila. 
because in the last level when we had the heart out it was showed where Delilah's spirit was. That's the flame of the damn gravehounds. No, it's showing through the, it's showing inside there. <clears throat> And I just now realized that we'd left behind the bone chamber we probably could have easily gotten because it was only nine meters away. Uh, okay. Oh well. No, go back. Okay, nothing that can be done here. Mm -hmm. Yes, you really left everything into freaking hellhole. Yeah, she. Still lights burning, but not many. Or not uh, many compared to how many there should be. I think uh, we're still we're alive. Uh, here's, a, here's a terrifying thing if I start to notice about these witches and Delilah here. It's not really like they treating the the people as cattle. Yeah. Just to be used as soldiers or as materials. Like they, you heard themselves, they need the bones that had regrets and agony. Mm. Oh, hello. This was what I was talking for. And yeah, people, I fear they may not take a random bone, they just have to be very close to someone's someone. death. Yeah. What's Delilah done to my throne? Okay, we're going to have to be sneaky big oh because we need to swap out. Jessamine's pampered brat is working against me. My love. Word is you've had a change of heart. Or your mind is broken. Perhaps I was too much for Here's you. those runes. Wait, what? I Is the game telling me she actually were a bit in love with Luca. Maybe. And again, whatever sort of twisted love secret feel, and there we have Corvo. Where the overseers babbled in their little chapel, now a tree that never existed. Okay. Yeah, I get the feeling we're going to need to fight her at least to some degree, because we need to shove that heart into her. Yeah, and we do also need to uh, sabotage her painting as well. Yeah, that's why I'm looking around for where the hell those runes are. Has she really been just sleeping up here? Drinking herself? <laughs> half rate to death? There's the throne. Uh, there it is. Okay. Where are you, Dowd? I know you're still breathing. Hidden somewhere. Wait, what? I, th I, th I think she wants revenge. Disappoints me. But once my great painting is finished, nothing else will matter. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure if we'd talked to either of those statues of her, hers, she would have known that we'd be here and she'd probably be a lot more alert. Okay. She's mostly moving back and forth. She's literally finger painting. Okay. Let, let's observe her for a bit. Because we don't want to jump down when she's looking towards the throne. Actually, I'm not sure we want to jump down there right away now because she might notice that a new rune has been inserted. Because if we get back in a. Uh, Back in the Brigmore Witches DLC, if we had swapped out the painting uh, with, the, if we had swapped out Delilah's painting with the Void painting too early, she would have turned around and noticed it. So my question is, will the same happen here? So I'm just going to put up a save. We'll write another one of these. Wait. Oh, they, they've just been moving them to the top. Oh, makes sense, of course. They are sorted by, <laughs> by date. 
my goodness. So when she turns away again... Come on, put that in. Is she going to notice us? Now the throne is corrupted. Okay, moment of curiosity now that we've wandered into here a bit. Is that jackass still locked up in the secure room? Because he should have had enough food for a month or two. And Delilah doesn't seem to be reacting to anything. Uh, it does prove if they, or they did let him out or not also. Writing those things does make... Oh, okay, so they forced it open. Is he still here? Why that tone? Nobody here. Okay, so I'm guessing they left, let him out eventually. Uh, Whoa. Uh, come on. What was the door's name? Mrs. Pilsen. And seeing as oh. it didn't turn into coin, I'm guessing that, and well, this is Emily's save room. Someone used Emily's doll as a toilet paper. And I guess that's why she had a bit of a reaction. Yeah. Is this Ramsey? Okay. So he's still, he is still here. Yeah. It's not the same way we left him. Did he manage to get this thing open? Okay, I'll give you points for being as stubborn as all hell. Oh, Ramsey's improvised diary. I'll trust I'll only be locked away here for a short time. I intend to record my thoughts. For during a confinement, a gentleman must find ways to keep his mind alert. Additionally, one should engage in strenuous ex exercises to retain vigor. Therefore, um, <clears throat> I have performed a dozen lunch-style exercise uh, exertions for my legs, uh, feeling quite revitalized. Day four. I am frustrated to have been left here for so long, though it is understandable. Duke Abele and Delilah have just acquired the throne and have many urgent tasks to perform. I hope I am not forgotten amid their other duties. And how could they forget me? It was I who tipped the scales in their favor. Ten squats performed today. Day 7. If I am meant to be humbled by the imprisonment, then let it be known that I am humbled. If you say that, you are not humbled. Perhaps my role was not so important, yet I did play a part, and I hope to continue to be of service. Marched in place. Day 12. You have they no pity? The briefest audience, that is all I ask. Empress Delilah, Duke Abele, I will grovel before you. I beg you. Don't you want to see your Ramsey crouch and snivel? I'm ready. Well, I'm guessing uh, whenever they did find you, uh, you weren't in the sanest of mind because this looks very much like uh, he tried to stab whoever did that. Or wait, have you just been in place? It looks like he's just, yeah, there's his sword. Were you, were you really, may you were really using the free, any, <laughs> it just means statue as practice. Is this more... It looks like Delilah just straight up walked in and stoned him where he stood right here. Probably because he, well, wasn't of any use anymore. Yeah. Dear. Let's see. Hmm. Yeah, he's been scribbling on the walls. So... Yeah, he might have been keeping track <laughs> notes for more than just two weeks. Because it has probably been quite a long time, and they even brought out some here. Okay, someone was at least curious to know what the hell he was up to all that time. Yeah, he's, he's going to make a nice statue after all of this is done. 
Really? We got a burn. Anything of interest there? What, what, what do you expect if you get too close to fire? No, I, I you, thought I wasn't just, that close. You, you expected to give you a cup of warm milk and cookies? <laughs> I'm not Santa, so no. Uh, I even think if a Santa gets burned by fire. Okay. No, she still hasn't noticed, so I'm guessing we are safe on that. So, yeah, what now? We just get above her. Ooh. Let's not walk right in when she could be watching. Actually, can we... Is there an... I don't think there is a passageway through here. It doesn't look like it, so we'll just have to keep... Be careful for a moment. Wait for her to turn her back and then go up. Yeah, but yes. how are we supposed to put the heart into her? P yeah. Put it on the throne like a far pillow? The tower and the throne, but all the little toadies ran away or died. I conquered an empire of cowards, liars, and simpletons. Or maybe just you are just too big of a bitch. Okay, she's back to her pigments. Yep. Yeah. I, I just realized something here. She said her mother did early on her mother did get even get a grave. But then she said they forced her body into a child coffin. It's a contradiction to what she has said earlier about her mother. Okay, she caught a glimpse of me there whilst we were above her. Hmm. Okay, yeah, I think we just messed up the chance at whatever spell it was. What I have, you'd be... I used to play high with Jessamy in this very room. You know that. Shut up. stop for me as well. to you. She definitely didn't notice. <laughs> yeah, whatever's going to happen, it's not going to happen the way she thinks it will. So this is the world she dreams about. So the, 
I expected her to. Okay. Yeah, very obviously she's just a, a full on, you know, as narcissistic as they can come from the looks of it, because she just wants to be worshipped like a freaking goddess. So this is the world she dreams about. Uh, I was expecting her to give at least somewhat of a speech or a spiel or something. But I guess at this point she is just done with words. Oh, hello. Is this the real you? No, the real you is down there. Yeah, a replica. Alright then. Any others hidden around? Well, we know that there are others hidden around because we got jumped by all of them. Because you don't love them. Yeah, you, you, she's really not uh, doing anything to deserve the love. <laughs> yeah, another replica. Yep. Yep, come on. Okay. Let's go around and try and take out those replicas first. So then we'll be left with one bitch to choke out. Yeah. Blue deer. So this is the world she dreams about. I'm guessing there's at least three or four of them. There we go. I was okay. to ask, can't we? <laughs> uh, still in stone form, even. Mm, you could say she is a stone cold killer, but we aren't. Why should wait, wait, hold on. You shook the life out of a stone. Mm, yep. Yeah. You have done the impossible. You choked stone. <laughs> okay, here's the next one. Let's see then, where... I'm guessing two more. One looked seemed to be behind her. Is that one of them? Yes, that's one of them. In return, I will take... Actually, that one must have been the one that saw me there. Okay, that one is in the Lila's line of sight, so let's skip that one for the moment. And see if there's another one on the other side. Yeah, we are... We are in the void, I presume, just with this... Where this layer is just so thin that it doesn't seem like the void. Uh, from what I've been here for now, it sounds like she thinks she uh, the, she owns the world. Yep. Basic narcissist. Okay. Actually, there is one simple way that we can fix this now. Can we get close enough? Oh, without getting spotted. Hopefully do this doesn't set her off. No, it doesn't. Okay. Here we go. Well, at least we know which one is the real deal. Wait. Uh. How? Should there be fewer? Oh, that was a replica then, I'm guessing. A 
No, come on. That's it. Another replica. Shut up. Painting should trap her in her own fantasy world. Okay, I was expecting that to go over uh, into a cutscene. Yeah. Oh, that, that's just on her. I can I can still just stab her right here and now. You wanted to rule a world of your own, Delilah. So be it. Okay. Here we go. And now to see how well your magic works, Delilah. Okay, um, yeah, Delilah's mother went missing there. Hmm, okay, um, but what now? Yeah, Corvo, of course. But, yeah, her mother went a bit missing there. Oh. Uh, hmm? Due to pixelation, I didn't realize... I thought we were looking at the throne, and now, now that at the moment pixelation calmed down, I realize I'm looking at the painting. Uh, yeah. Once more, uh, she is stuck in a painting, and hope, well, this time, she will think she has won, so she will have no need or wish to try and escape. Anyway, Hopefully. it does let her win, sort of, since, well, she believes she has won. But, at least in reality, she hasn't. And... Hmm. Yeah, I think this thing will make for some decent kindling. Oh, God! I'm like, I'm still surprised I thought... I was to ask, is she bugged on the throne? <laughs> yeah, I know. Her, her model just plain up vanished from the looks of it, so... <laughs> yeah, that's one bug they apparently missed. Uh... But yeah, I'm just I'm just guessing she just got yanked through the painting or something. Either way, oh let's revive uh, Emily's father. Did they kill anyone? Have we missed an outside this shrine again? And so the time of crisis in Karnaka came to an end with the city's wisest citizens unscathed. Led by its new council, the southern capital was pulled back from the brink of anarchy, and Circonus began to thrive. In Dunwall, without ever realizing it, Delilah passed into an imagined world where her father's promises were fulfilled, and her subjects would love her forever as she sailed the ocean with a great fleet and trekked across the Pendicean wastes. While in the true capital, Emily the Just, Emily the Clever, ruled for decades over a prosperous, mended empire with Corvo Atano by her side. In his day, Anton Sokolov fired the engines of industry, hurling the empire into a more sophisticated age. 
He dallied with nobles, wayward artists, and great inventors alike, drinking in all that life could offer. Leaving Dunwall for the last time, he headed to the cold north, contented at last, on a final voyage to take him home. There are things that never change, no matter how hard you try. Questions you must answer. As Megan Foster faded from the world, Billy Lurk stepped from her shadow, setting out to discover her truest self, and seeking the closest thing she'd ever known to family. Is the story of the Sonic 2. Yeah, um, look at the time. Yeah, we, we did that quite quickly. And yeah, then we, but... we, we sort of rushed through things a bit here and in some other levels. Yeah, so at the same time, look at the time, I feel like we did a good uh, thing to wait. We did the finish the last time, for it would have been. Well, they would always be 12 then. little song yeah I do believe they had written some unique songs so that we could have overheard there's actually a, the an achievement or something for it I'm I am pretty sure they be a be surprised they hadn't done it like most of the other songs I see heard are always a parodies this was something more unique yeah. We were freaking curious of where the hell that went. Yeah, we'll see. Maybe that will actually be in part uh, with the DLC. Like that we get to know where the hell he went. Because I don't know if the DLC is a prequel or sequel. May I give you a small spoiler, just to answer that question? I'm guessing it's uh, after the game, main game then? Yes, it's after. As, so unless I've been uh, misunderstanding it. It's, it's to be after this. Okay. We'll slip on to hmm. a whaler, and maybe we'll escape. Uh, always nice to see uh, a game make its own original music to add in. It just shows more dedication as well than just reusing stuff. Yeah, there are many song games that have their own music to it, but this game is one of those few that have many unique songs. Like, sure, they have some, they are obviously parodies, but they're still their own lyrics. Yeah, and by unique music, I don't mean just uh, uh, music tracks and background stuff and such, but actual songs and such. Uh, yeah. Just as a clarification for, <clears throat> yeah, for all, everyone else. Yeah, I understand that. <clears throat> and it does seem to uh, help that uh, with the chocolate milk. <laughs> Probably because it's a lot thicker than uh, iced tea. <laughs> yeah, I probably <clears throat> have less of the herbs that makes you want to run to the bathroom and... That was an interesting last name. Hetele. Okay, Hetele. I must have missed that I... one because I'm looking between a few things. <laughs> I think that was a Finnish name. I will have to ask a Finnish friend about that. In-game musician soundtrack composed and produced by co-pilots. Okay. Let me do a quick 
look up so uh, I don't forget to look them up later. No? Okay. Let's see. Stephen Russell, Erica Luttrell, uh, Rosario Dawson. T -t 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 any names that I recognize among here? Um... Sam Rock, well, it sounds oddly familiar. Josh Keaton, but voices howlers? Okay. Uh, da -da -da -da. If that is the Josh Keaton that I think of, then yeah. <laughs> That's Wesley from uh, Star Trek. <laughs> okay. You mean then complaining one? Uh, yeah, the one that a lot of people like to complain about as well. He's actually been showing up here and there yeah, after Star Trek, as far as I know. And uh, from what I've heard, the guy is supposed to be a rather chill dude, but personally, I try not to get attached to any celebrities and such because yeah, a lot of what uh, is known about him is also probably a bit of a PR stuff and such. So, yeah. Yeah, like, I want to respect them, but I don't want to get. I don't want to go into hardcore fandom into them, for that. That just that's just a feast that can go so much wrong. It just be yeah. crushing. Uh, in a way, uh, I've described it this way: uh, celebrities are like zoo animals, nice to look at, but don't interact and don't try to feed them. That. Was a weird metaphor <laughs> that I think can be taken out of so many contexts. Well, a lot of people I, do like watching them all the time. Yeah, I, I do. I get what you mean, but I know that people gonna take that and twist it into something else. <laughs> uh, so it might not be the perfect metaphor. <laughs> yeah. Uh. Yeah, we're just going to let the credits roll because, yeah, all, all of these people have put time and work into this, so it, even if we're not actively reading out their names, we're at least going to let it run. Yeah. And I don't think that will be something at the end of this. I'm not sure this... this one yeah this is a parody one or like it has parody to be a comedy yeah this is not a parody yeah the, it I think they start borrow, had something they borrowed, but then from there went on its own. Hmm. Hmm. I'm, I'm curious what all we'll get to see in uh, the DLC, Death of the Outsider. But I'll All say the... I'll say this for sure. I I I would like uh, if if they eventually make a Dishonor three. Though I think at this point uh, we'd probably not be playing as uh, Corvo or Emily. Maybe a descendant of them, or maybe just yeah. something completely new. Probably something new, just to not to drag out that. And also the only thing I can spoil for you about the DLC is we're gonna learn more about the Outsider. Okay. But that's probably the only thing I know about it. Yeah, it is called the Death, the death of the Outsider. So, uh, yeah, there's... <laughs> of course, he was going to be a main role into it. Hmm. The only real question I have, really, is if we should start it right now, or leave that for next week to start. Uh... I would say stop now, but then it, again, it would mean you would need to uh, do some editing. Since it would be a bit weird to have uh, the first half hour on this stream uh, when you put it on the yeah on the archive. 
yeah, let's let's call it uh, <clears throat> let's call it after the credits then. Up. Hmm. The Grand Café Noir. Okay, that's probably a cafe near where they worked or something. <laughs> and of course, the kids that were born during production. Uh, I, I can't really say if I think this game is better than Dishonored 1. It's definitely upgraded in a lot of places, but also some mistakes here and there, like in the beginning where we had problem with uh, the performance and such. Yeah, <clears throat> I think I want to say that the sequel is probably equally as good as the first one. Just it had a lot more polish, at least. Do hmm. something probably you need a bit more polish on, but they were at least heading in the right direction. True. Now, let's see. Okay, it's, uh, one thing that I had learned is yeah, I think I already mentioned it earlier. There is a new game plus, and there's. Actually, I'll, I'll show it if I... Let's see, New Game Plus lets you start a new playthrough, carrying over some items from a previous playthrough, powers and enchantment, enhancements, with all upgrades are converted back, converted back to runes. Uh, when purchasing new powers, you can choose from both Emily's and Corvo's abilities. Whoa. Yep. And... Let's see, blueprints you collected are also still available. All traits discovered by sacrificing bone charms are carried over as well. So, yeah. We've done uh, we've done a low chaos playthrough uh, now. And yeah, in New Game Plus you could get really funky with, uh, <laughs> with having fun just slaughtering everything with Emily's and Corvo's powers. Bloody heck. Also, something that we hadn't really... Maybe we just misinterpreted it, but with the domino power, it is that the, the victims share a fate. That doesn't just have to mean that if one dies, all of them die. It means that if one gets thrown uh, by like a <clears throat> wind blast, all of them get thrown. So, yeah, you could have four people just flying around the room all of a sudden. Uh, maybe that will explain one of those you're good, dominant fact that may have died. Or we wonder what, how they died. Maybe uh, when you were on a... a... Go on. Go on. <laughs> <laughs> we're too polite for each other with this. Yeah, only thing we're missing yeah. the top hats. Uh, but I was just saying... There was one on a, on a place we wondering, how did they die? So maybe it was due to the power that the... Sure, the other one fell over, but maybe that one fell over on something sharp. Yeah, I, I think I know which you, yeah, when you were men, meaning. Uh, on the approach to the Clockwork Mansion, there was that one case that we had two linked together and we choked one out, and the other one fell over and died. Yeah, I think he just fell onto something. The, the, the game's physics are a bit finicky with counting someone as dying from, well, how much damage. We, we saw we saw people die from one freaking blood fly sting. No, 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 no. We saw them die from the blood fly sting and get turned into a nest. Uh, that, that I don't recall, but I do remember at one point we were choking someone out and then a blood fly flew up. Actually, no the conservatory in the front of it. We were choking one out near one of the fountains. And yeah, just a single blood fly was in the area, flew up whilst we were carrying or, or grabbing him, uh, stung him and yeah, dead. Yeah, and then you reacted to him, basically turned red and instantly have a nest screwing out of his chest. That I don't recall, but hmm. Well, it was a heck of an episode for you. Either way, I'll probably be playing through this game again uh, in New Game Plus, most likely, to well, get to try out Corvo's powers combined with Emily's. And maybe I'll try a a High Chaos game uh, playthrough with just Corvo to see how he reacts differently. But I, I, won't take, I won't be surprised if, if uh, High Chaos is easier and quicker to do, but 
but it still be a bad ending. True. And some people have complained about that, that the, yeah, playing the fun way ends up with you getting punished with a bad ending. Uh, hmm. Yeah, no, I, yeah, I do get the message they want to do with that. Yeah, doing the right thing isn't always the easy thing. But, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there. That's just that's the thing that might be a bit of a acquired taste, I guess, because I I'd been playing stealth games long before I got to Dishonored. Uh, not that my skill shows any of that, of course. <laughs> so yeah, I, I've been used to taking the stealthy, non-lethal way, or at least the stealthy way, not always the non-lethal way for quite a bit. But yeah, that that's just a a matter of taste, I guess. Yeah, the, many people do like it. And I, I spoke to a friend about this, and he, he said that both games are fun, especially the second one. Okay. So, yeah, I think both, this is the case where both the, the first one and the sequel is all loved. Yeah. And talking about one thing here, where the Clockwork Soldiers, like these things were an these were things were a real problem for us, and would have been even more so in High Chaos, probably. But I'd, I'd say they are a case of a of strong enemy not being used too much. Because you have that often in games that's a, a, a special type, a, a, yeah, a type of enemy that is supposed to be scary, gets used way too much that you get too used to how they are and how you, know, they, you beat them. But the Clockwork Soldiers. That was the right amount of use for them, I'd say. Yeah, uh, but we didn't, we didn't destroy... Wait, how many of them did we destroy? I think only one, and there was the one guiding Sokolov. Bloody heck, yeah, that, that says a lot. Like, here's, here's an example where you can do it wrong. Like, when I look at Diablo 3's models and such on the Demon's they looked more terrifying than ever. Or than the older games. However, because you can slay like 30 of them with one swing, the scary factor just disappears. Yeah. Same with the butcher for the third game. Like, he looks more terrifying than his older version. But because you kill this butcher version so much easier, he's not as scary anyway. anyway. So, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it's the same with things like uh, Pyramid Heads. In the original, yep. well, when he... Was it Silent Hill 1 or 2 where he showed up first? I think it was 2. But, yeah. In, something is a lot scarier if you don't use it a lot. Because then you can't get information on it and you certainly can't get used to it. But enough on that, I'd say. Yeah. <laughs> Again, I enjoyed this so far, certainly. And I will be playing it again, and next week we will be starting with Dishonored's Death of the Outsider. Yep. It's going to be interesting. Yep, yeah, because beyond, well, the spoiler <laughs> it describes with, and the fact that we'll be playing as Billy, I know nothing about that beyond that, well, we're going to be dealing with the Outsider and thus the Void. So yeah, I'm very interested in what we might learn there. Yeah. Uh, when did this game come out? Uh, 2016, I think. Almost about six years ago, I think. Uh, how long did the first game come out? Somewhere in the thousands or twenty. Let me just take a quick look with the phone. Uh, let's see. Come on, Dishonored, not whatever that was, Dishonored, okay, the franchise was introduced in 2012, Dishonored 2 released in 2016, okay, so I was a, a bit off with that, but yeah. So four years between. Yeah, and... If they were working on... No, they haven't been working on one because Arcane released Deathloop after this and Prey as well, I think. I'm not sure when Prey released. Yeah. Uh, that, it, that, it, 
a fun fact I learned about Prey recently is a remake. Mm, no, it's like yeah, it's uh, I know what you're talking about. The the, the first Prey had nothing to do with the uh, the arcane Prey. They just named used the same name. Yeah, because Bethesda owned the IP license. Yeah, and decided to do absolutely nothing with it, even though. Yeah, just look up uh, Prey 2, and if it's. Yeah, there's quite a bit of history I, I have, behind that. I have uh, I also a video about it that they mentioned it. That the, the worst plans, but Bethesda said, eh, uh, we don't want it. Yeah, and they it basically just screwed it over. Yeah, and I think what I forgot we're almost done or halfway done when the possessor said nope. Then several years later, let's let's use that title. I want to tell them to boot another developers to they name the game Prey of Gods, that they have to spell Prey in a different way. Yeah, A E. Yeah. Because they were being petty. Yeah. Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, yeah. Um... Bethesda they very much a love and hate uh, thing. Um, I'm forgetting who it, recently one game company got bought out by, uh, was it Blizzard? Activision Blizzard that got bought out by Microsoft? Nope, nope, they, they, they might not happen because anti-trust law. Okay, uh, we can continue that after because we've been chatting for about 20 minutes now or something with this, so best to stop boring anyone who may be watching still. Yeah, yeah, we probably should uh, change topic. <laughs> yeah. Either way, I do hope that there will eventually be a Dishonored 3 and that we will get to learn more about the Panisium Continent. But yeah, we'll, we'll only learn if there will be a, a third game when they finally announce it. And yeah, they are done with Deathloop. And so we'll just have to see what the next game will be. Well, I, I'm looking forward for Dishonored 3. I, I may look up and see if there's other plans or they, on the side, been writing up some ideas for when they get allowed to do it. Yeah. For now, though, thank you anyone who has been watching now or later. And as always, thank you especially, Drakir. Oh, you're most welcome, my friend. And, yeah. Saturday, we will be finally returning to ship... Oh. I, again, I was going to mess it up with calling it ship space, uh, space breaker or something. <laughs> Hard space ship breaker. We'll be returning to that for probably one or two more streams since, yeah, more day, more content was released for that. And I'd say I'd return to it whenever that would happen. Uh, Sunday, we'll have the usual where we just try a couple of games. And next week, we will be starting with Death of the Outsider. And with yep. that, the at the moment, final entry in the Dishonored series. i still surprised they only had one DLC. Yeah. Well, technically you could see the DLC for the, uh, Dishonored 1 as just one DLC split in two, so... Uh, point taken. For now, though, until then, have a nice day, and until then. Be safe, folks, and watch out for Gravehounds.